Hello and welcome to Forbes India Path Breakers with me Neha Bothra. From making steering wheels to now emerging as one of the few global companies to have the expertise to design high-tech EV systems, we'll take you inside Sonak Homestar's story. 2019 was a definitive year for uh, the company. That is when Blackstone came on board. Uh, the merger with Comstar happened. Uh, take us behind the scenes. So we had a private equity investor uh, called GM Finance. It was time for them to exit. It was a loss-making business. So we had to restructure the business and therefore we didn't feel it was time to IPO. Blackstone came in in 2019. We separated Germany from uh, the India company. Uh, we shut down the U.S. operations and we moved all the operations to India. In hindsight, I think at that point in time, we didn't really have a choice. Uh, you know, the choice was to either sell the business uh, or continue as is uh, mm -hmm. or um, move it to India. In fact, at that time, we didn't have the money uh, to invest in terms of upgrading the equipment. We then restructured the business in terms of even the management and when Blackstone came in, I had the opportunity to move from manager to owner and that's when we brought Comstar into the fold because Blackstone had acquired Comstar before they came into a partnership with us. That's how the birth of Sona Comstar from Sona BLW. I owned 65% of the business when it was Sona BLW. Blackstone came in and bought about 30, 32% from GM Finance. They bought their uh, stake and once we bought Comstar from them, they owned 65 and I owned 35. So it reversed and of course, from an Indian context and an Indian auto Quite unheard yeah, of. Yeah, it was uh, unheard of because people get more concerned about controlling state. However, you know, what I saw in it was, you know, we'll be able to build a business which will be much, much larger than it is today. Stay tuned. I am Neha Botra.